Hey Pepper Nation, this is Dr. Bones, medical doctor and surgeon for over 25 years, and together with the lovely nurse Amy, we host the Doom and Bloom Show. Go to our blog site at www.doomandbloom.net for articles on medical preparedness, survival gardening, all sorts of news you can use. This video is going to be about how to suture. We're going to show you everything you need to know to close skin and a little about surgical technique. We're going to use a pig skin, a pig's foot today, and pig's foot is uh, as close to human skin as you can get. And, of course, you got to start by putting on some gloves. Now, you can consider using an orange peel, but I see that an orange peel here will just sort of tear through when you tie knots in the stitch. So it is not as good as your everyday pig skin. And there you go. You see it has the normal texture of, uh, well, human anatomy, really. It's a little bit tougher. If you could do a pig skin, you can pretty much do just about anything. So first you're going to start by cleaning the area and we're going to use something like a povidone iodine solution or betadine and we're going to cover the area that is going to be sutured. Now of course you want to want to drape the area and so you're basically working with what we call a sterile field. And here you have the drapes being placed over the area that we're going to make an incision that we're going to sutured together. Okay. All right. Of course, now you want to get all your equipment together. And so we're going to show you what that is, but I'm putting it so that it's near to me and it's going to be important for it to be right around where you are. So you can reach at it pretty much any time. And after this, we're going to want to clean that area with some of that povidone iodine solution, otherwise known as betadine. If you have to, you could use alcohol, but we're going to use this today. And then we're going to make an incision. Now to make the incision, we're going to need a scalpel. And the scalpel is uh, going to be a number 10 blade this time. Uh, the blades that you'll use uh, as a scalpel will be either, not either a number 10, a number 11, or a number 15. Number 10 is good for uh, fine work. This is a regular roll thing, so we're going to use number 10. Always uh, remove it from the package like you would peel a banana. Okay, here we go. And so we're going to take our blade and we're going to grasp it just as you see me grasp it. And we're going to make an incision. Pull on the skin a tiny bit so that you can make a nice straight cut. And here we go. And you see it cuts just like regular skin. It is a little tougher, as I said. Now what you're looking at there is the dermis, which I'm separating out a tiny bit. And below it, you'll see uh, some tendinous material like you would see perhaps on your wrist. As a matter of fact, it looks like a, a child's forearm here. Okay, now of course we're going to want to put a little anesthesia if you're lucky enough to get a prescription for some lidocaine, 2% or 1% would be fine. And you need a, a small syringe, 3 to 6 milliliters would be fine as well. If you don't have it, use some ice and just place it on the uh, uh, cut that you want to put together and it will help numb it. Okay. And now we're going to uh, place the anesthesia and... To do that, we need to make, there we go, I have to open up the syringe, just like peeling a banana, and take it from the bottle, put, put the bottle upside down, put a little air in your syringe, and there you go, and put it inside, push the air in, that'll cause a little bit of pressure, that will make it easier to remove the anesthetic. Okay, here we go. And at a 45 degree angle, you're going to place the anesthesia, the needle right in under the skin. And you're going to push in so that you see what we call a wheel, W-E-A-L. And you'll see the area of the skin um, become sort of a, like a little hill there, a little lump. And give it a couple of minutes to work its magic. If not, and for a few minutes, you need to put some ice on there. And here are some of our sutures. 
the uh, sutures on the suture on the right is a absorbable suture is used for the inside suturing and uh, the blue one is a silk suture which is a common one that's used for the skin and we're going to use that today and that's 2o silk zero silk is the thickest suture and 6o is very for very fine work and here we go and you're going to open this just like you would open anything else like a banana of course here we go having trouble with that okay come on all right there we go okay now we got it okay and there's your uh silk suture uh, superion is a brand name and it's an excellent suture you're going to remove your little packet with the actual needle and string here we go and uh, these are there we go made made to be nice and secure and there's your actual needle now using your needle holder that's this instrument here and it comes in a standard uh, suture kit you're going to grasp it right in the middle of the uh, semicircle there the curved needle and pull out the string keeping it all on the surgical field as we say okay and so that's pretty much how you're going to want it to be just like you see it there on the needle holder okay now grab your uh, forceps the forceps are basically like a set of tweezers and they're used to pick up the skin and hold it in place while you're driving the needle through the skin in this case the pig's foot okay so what you're going to do is you're going to grasp the needle holder just like i'm grabbing it here you go you see how i'm grabbing it there and you're going to work it with a twist of the wrist just like that and you can see the action that's that's it and you're going to just repeating be repeating that every time grasp the skin lift it and have your needle at a 90 degree angle to the skin and push right on through so i said pig skin is a little tougher grab it with the forceps and then help pull it through there a little bit and grab it with the needle holder okay pull your string through replace your needle in the appropriate position there you go and now grab the other side of the cut and same thing 90 degrees and push drive on through human skin will be easier than this if you can do this you can do human skin okay grab it with your needle holder and pull all the way through leaving maybe about two or three inches like that remember this is a collapse situation we have to save our suture material okay now we're going to do something called this instrument tie we're going to twist and make a loop around and make our first knot you grab the loose end of the string here we go we do that several times four or five times make a loop grab it pull grab the uh, loose end of the stitch of this of the string and pull it through the loop and just keep doing that a few times and there you go you've made a stitch okay hooray okay now you're going to take your suture scissors which is the uh, third instrument that comes with your standard suture kit and you're going to cut it relatively short because you're saving some suture boom okay well let's do that again you see that it put the the uh, skin actually quite close together and it's a nice little suture there now you see that the skin is still apart so you're going to want to put a second suture in this particular cut or incision that we've made 
And so we're going to replace the needle. We're just doing this again so you can see again how it's done. Right in the middle of the curve. Okay, and grab your, take your uh, tweezers or your forceps as we call them, and drive with a twist of the wrist through the skin. Okay. Pull through. Remember you want to save sutures, so you only want a couple of couple of inches right at the very end. All the way through. And grab the skin and drive it right through. Awesome. Okay, we'll pull it through again. Gonna save that suture. Remember, all of this is above your sterile drape, so you're not touching anything else. And now let's do our what we call instrument tie. There are lots of ways to tie, but this is the one that saves the most string. Okay, here we go. And this time you, we're going to do a double loop there. And double loop is actually even stronger for a uh, stronger for a stitch, and I think it would be a good idea to do that. Now you can do these in an interrupted fashion. That's what we're doing here, where the sutures are separate from each other, or you can do them continuously. Grab the end, the loose end, and there you go. And you have an awesome, very tight suture. Okay, now you can cut it. You just need a little bit. Here's This one's a little longer, about a quarter of an inch. And I think that is fine here. You have a good closure. You see the skin is completely closed. And you did it. Good job. Mm -hmm.